So I'm sharing today about color associations. So red is associated with birth, blood, fire, warmth, emotion, love, passion, wounds, anger, heat, and life. So just like steering into a color as a therapy, seeing the color red, we think of all these things. Then we have the color orange. Seeing if I have something orange right here and it doesn't look like I do. But I have this, this color. Fire, harvest, warmth, energy, circulation. Not circulation, sorry. Alienation, assertiveness, power, misfortune. We just look into the color orange when we want to think of these. So color associations is something to do with the colors you have around you and the color of light. So you can actually use colored light bulbs or stained glass or filters. Yellow. It's like a yellow book so we can see the color yellow. Um, sun, warmth, light, wisdom, hope, expectation, intuition, energy, riches, masculinity. Then we have green. I'll say, look at that green behind me over there. We have earth, <laughs> fertility, nature, growth, envy, creativity, overprotectiveness, vegetation, cycles of renewal. Then we have blue. So here's like a color blue, it's kind of dark. Here's one a little bit lighter color. Um, and so we're gonna think over here of sky, water, associations with sea, heaven, spirituality, calm, relaxation, cleansing, heaven. Oh wait, I said heaven. Um, nourishing and loyalty. Then we have like violet purple, kind of like the the mixture between purple, purpley, purpley blue. And let's see if I have. I wanted to also use like a kind of purpley color. So it's like some something between these. Um, so we have uh, royalty, spirituality, wealth, authority, death resurrection, imagination, attention, excitement, paranoia, persecution, and black, which is, so my iPad, darkness, emptiness, death and depression and loss, beginning, mystery, womb, and unconsciousness. Then we have brown, and I am not sure if I have anything brown right here. I do have a marker. Oh, 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 I have, perfect. I have this color paint, brown. Um, fertility, soil, sorrow, roots, dirt, excrement, worthlessness, and new beginnings. And finally, white. So for that, I have my, my dress or a napkin, I'll hold it up. Um, white is related to virginity, light, purity, moon, spirituality, creation, timelessness, dreamlike, synthesis, generativity, clarity, resurrection, loss, and enlightenment. And The next thing I want to talk about um, is an example of states from when the colors, for example, the color orange or red, we talked about even yellow can cause arousal. So sometimes we need to understand what is it that we want, or what we don't want. So 
Arousal can be sexual, can be energetic, can be anxious, can be nervous, can be excited. So it's twinkly, all healing, oneness. It's having been through a moon's night. It's diminished, but then arriving into the touching where it's not clear of the edges. Who is who? The giving is a yielding, a healthy being held, fluttering, flickering, flashes of pleasure, vignette of animal intimacy, or holding, pulling, uh, tension, building, direct contact, trusting the gut, saying what one likes or wants without feeling ashamed, like part of confidence. Um, it's squeezing, it's pulling, pushing, gripping, pulling. I said pulling twice, holding, um, touching with hands. It could be flames, it could be hot, um, it could be something all over, it could be sparkling. And I said even licking, because when we, when we lick sugar, or when we think of the idea of a licking, right? Could cause arousal. Then I would also like to talk about one more thing, which is um, irresistible. So we're getting into like the ideas of colors and it's this feeling like, uh, and also I'll talk about paint. So the, the, the feeling of, you know, I had conversations with different people, uh, Benjamin, Michael, David, all like, they're just names of people, but we talked about, so irresistible. It's like uh, the fire of desire, like a cow, like a womb, uh, mysterious at the edge of creation. Like, so we could say once where like, you go, like a baby goes after something shiny. So we could say like the blue or the green or the violet, like even the white, like think about what causes you to not be able to resist. Like I, people, when they buy something, I have to have it or I love how it looks. It's like, so also it's like not procrastinating, enjoying the hard work because the inner self is always with us, can help us access pleasure, delight, relief, or something else. It's defining and describing rather than saying good or bad. It's peace in the chaos and the chaos in the peace and casual intentionality. It's the new, not the regular. Drinking wine or desiring masculine desire. Um, for this, it could be something that's kedusha, which means sanctified, separated from the mundane. Or it could be hefker, which means it's for anyone. It's not belonging, it's not owned. It's just like uh, free for all. Um, things can just happen because we're always magnetized to the earth. So we're not just gonna float away whenever we want to with the physical body. We have to give up some level of control. And even when we think about the music beats and the rhythms and the, st the stimulating the good ideas and how sometimes at these concerts, they flash all these different lights and how there's that song, people are strange when you're a stranger, like black, brown, like, you know, something new grows out of the brown, like the soil and black, like anything could pop out from the darkness, right? From the, from the blankness. And I want to say also like nourishment is the most precious. And that's why our food is often meant to be all different colors and textures, right? But like think about it, yellow, green, orange, red peppers. Um, I even once, I think I saw a purple pepper. They have heirloom tomatoes, all different colors. There's different color eggplants. There's a uh, different color potatoes. There's even a purple potato, inside purple, not outside. Inside purple potato, I think from Asia, from Japan maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and also, like we were talking about, the times we reached out, seeking, needing, looking desperately, they helped us to have a grace period to improve and to be able to be the real person that we each are, the real me, as per what I imagine through others' eyes. Because sometimes we're preparing for pity instead of what we want, which is love. Like, we're, if we show ourselves where we need the love, like, I need the love. Like, I tell God sometimes, like, I don't want to have to ask for the love. I need the love, so I just want the love. And sometimes we want pity. We just want someone to feel bad for us. Like, it's so hard, right? And um, so I'll, I'll stop there. But I just, I, actually, I won't stop there. I just want to say one more thing. Um, there was this class I used to go to called Living Deeply. I went for about three years. And um, it was run by Neely Weissman from Romamu. And we, we, like, there was pain that we would go in, in, in certain ways that show up. So we spent... Um, like each person has their own versions of pain. It could be mental dis-ease, spiritual, physical, emotional dis-ease or, or injury, or, or there was like a surgery or there's discomfort, or really just suffering, struggling, you know, constriction and um, pressure. And so what does it tell us? So I would say that this is the idea of like, um, you know, for me, like pain is often associated with like red. 
like a wounded nest, but it could also be like black. Like sometimes people describe parts of the body or sensations with colors. It's like feeling blue, right? Um, or feeling dark. We've said those. Um, or green with envy, right? So there's this idea also. So for example, I'm gonna use pain as an example here. Um, it told me, open my heart. How do I, it, it taught me that I have to be able to hold my neck, my own neck up as I look down to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, how to not dive into anyone with the head, overly bowing into them. Um, how to stand on my own two feet, up, standing upright and how to not carry anyone on my shoulders or neck. And I've made so much progress, but I'm still not exactly where I wanna be. And I'll stop there, but I'm gonna do another video today because I have a long day of working tomorrow and being busy, and so I won't be able to, um, probably be able to record a video. I have just a few hours before the Sabbath after I come home from, after I finish the job. So I will, uh, I'll stop here. Okay, be well, and till next video, bye-bye.